Hey everybody, how's it going? Your man Hades Timer here. And we are looking at Enchantress for Injustice 2. The best character in the game. Uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> best character, in my opinion, in the game. Uh, we're looking at all her tints and some of the gear that I've got. Uh, I've got a very small amount of gear just because uh, mostly I've been getting commons and rares. Uh, like normal, which is sad, but that's how it is. Um, anyway, uh, the thing that I really love about Enchantress, which we're going to look at uh, very soon, is the number of abilities that she actually has. She is just... She is one of the most interesting characters in this game. Uh, she is... She has so many different abilities. She's so, it's everything that she's got so varied. Um, look, another common. Um, as you can see, I have two epics, and uh, that's it. Dinah, this isn't a drill. This is an intervention. I'm not interested in rehab. Begin. So, uh, the thing I really love about Enchantress, as I had said, is she has so many abilities. Um, she's just unbelievable in the amount of stuff you can do with her. She also, she has one of the other things that makes her definitely in my, definitely my wheelhouse of favorite characters is she has a parry, which is absolutely amazing. And... Her parry is not an ability, it is a uh, part of her stock kit, so you don't have to worry about um, losing out if you're playing her in tournament mode, obviously. Um, she has so many abilities, as you can see. I'm going through as many as I can. By the end of the video, I will have gone through everything that she can do, but uh, she does literally have too many different abilities to show all in one fight. So, uh, you will see over the course of, um, this ladder, which is her story mode, um, all of her abilities. If you have a lair, run there and hide. Well, technically there is the microverse. And I will steal its secrets from you, Ryan. Begin. Uh, one of the difficult things about Enchantress is her, um, she has no real projectile. Uh, that is her main weakness. Um, in a game with so many zoning characters, uh, she has no projectile. The closest she has is the, is that demon guy that is her character power. Um, he is not affected by anything. As far as uh, crowd control or uh, projectiles or anything. You can just throw him out and he will track to your uh, enemy and uh, to your opponent and explode. But that's it. Um, she has an ability that would re will replace some stuff that she has um, that is a projectile. But it re it's too much of a it's too much uh, even if you wanted to do it even if it was something that you were interested in doing because you felt like you were getting zoned out too much it's not worth it it's like Dr. Fate's uh, little ball but it travels faster obviously um, but that's it I mean you know uh, she has no uh, projectile at all but she has so many other abilities so many other cool cool things going on that really unless you're fighting somebody you know that's in a situation where you're very projectile heavy uh, you won't even really notice at least I don't think so your technology won't stop enchantress it's the man that should worry you in my experience men are easy begin So, um, her really bad matchups that I have found, which I've definitely found them, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty obvious. Um, one of her really bad matchups is Firestorm. 
Um, another one would be um, Deadshot. And also, uh, she has a real problem with Raiden. Um, I would say anybody who has got a decent number of projectiles and who can put them out very, very fast. Um, so, as I said, like Deadshot, for instance, who can, who can fire a lot of bullets really fast. Um, Firestorm is a problem because of his... Of some of his uh, screen traveling, you know, he can screen travel in that uh, in that fire state, uh, which is a big problem. And then also Raiden, who can do the do the, you know, he can also travel across the screen. Uh, he's an issue as well. Forget the squad. Oh, but I miss our little chat. Well, I don't miss a thing, Harley. Begin. And you would think Harley would be a problem, and she can be. Uh, obviously not in this situation, but in a uh, little higher uh, difficulty fights, probably with an actual person also. Um, Harley could be a real issue. Um, I think... Harley probably kitted out a little bit more, like as far as abilities are concerned, would be a real issue. Uh, this Harley is too easy, uh, but you know, obviously a more kitted out Harley would be a big issue. Um, and then uh, th those are mainly the ones that I found to be a problem. Um, slower projectile characters like Joker. Dr. Fate, Red Hood for the most part. Red Hood isn't too bad. Uh, Batman actually can be an issue, uh, especially if you're playing a good Batman. Um, somebody who's kind of a mediocre Batman, you'd probably be fine. But if you're playing somebody who's a really good Batman, uh, you are probably messed up. You're pretty screwed. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff. But, I mean, people like Poison Ivy, for instance, uh, she's not a problem. Uh, Hellboy really isn't an issue. Sub-Zero, I haven't found to be an issue. I've, I've played... I haven't played any maybe really high-level Sub-Zeros, obviously. But, uh, I've, you know, the regular difficulty Sub-Zeros are fine. Uh, but I could see he could be a problem. I could see where he could be a problem. Excuse me. Um... None of the uh, none of the melee based characters are an issue. Uh, Cheetah, Catwoman, not a problem at all. Um, Wonder Woman can be a problem. Um, anybody who can, I, yeah, I, I have to mention this actually. Anybody who has any kind of a projectile that like sticks to you, like uh, you know, like a heart, like the. Uh, the um, the projectile that Batman has, the harpoon that Black Manta has, um, Wonder Woman's uh, lasso, any of that stuff is a big issue. Uh, they can knock you out of stuff so easily. Uh, there's a, not a lot you can do about it. Uh, those are d th those three characters: Black Manta, Batman, and um, Wonder Woman. Rot every bloom on this earth. I'll protect my children. You sound crazy when you say that. Begin. They are really, really a problem. Um, I would say that those are probably her three, her three worst matchups. Um, because there's not really too much you can do about it. 
Um, the uh, the barrier that you can put up for projectiles does not work uh, with the with uh, with that. Uh, putting on the shield um, works only to the degree that it, you will not take the damage, but you're still, you know, you they will still chip away at you, and eventually you will, you know, die from, uh, you know, have be out of shield, and you will die from it. So uh, I would say that those are the three worst characters um, to play uh, against, um, to have, you know, to, to, to play against. Um, the characters that she is the best at countering, um, hmm. We're both going to regret this. You made yourself an easy target. You're not as stupid as people say. Begin. I would say that anybody who has, who does not have a lot of uh, zoning options, um, you know, Catwoman, Cheetah, um, characters in that vein, uh, she's very good at beating. Also, uh, Superman and Supergirl both, uh, I haven't had any problems at all, especially Superman who does not really have any uh, teleports. Uh, teleporting can be a problem, but uh, it is definitely something you can deal with uh, with Supergirl. But uh, as far as Superman is concerned, he is nothing um, against Enchantress. She is way more powerful. Um, Enchantress, Enchantress, Enchantress! Your primitive mind fails you. Nobody talks to June like that but me. Begin. She can definitely counter anything that he can put out. Um, and also, I mean, he has, she has no problem against a uh, character like Adam. Uh, his uh, zoning game is not strong enough to stop her. She has way too many uh, ways to counter him. Um... So yeah, he is, she is definitely a really good character against a good percentage of the cast, but it's just uh, Wonder Woman, uh, Black Manta, and um, Batman that are her real, real bad matchups. Uh, she has some other weak ones, as I stated earlier, but those three characters are definitely her worst matchups and could actually le lead you to, you know, have a problem. Um countering them uh it's possible uh i have fought them and beat them but by the same token uh it is difficult um specifically the the free ladder for enchantress uh you fight um a batman uh like a powered up batman and he is very difficult to beat uh with enchantress so um well it is possible it's very difficult. So I'm going to let the ending here play. I uh, hope you guys really liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button on your way out. I will talk to you awesome people later when we hit the next video. Bye. When it comes to magic, even Brainiac has a lot to learn. He thought he could collect the power of the Enchantress, so I let him have it. And sure enough, the old witch ate him alive. It was over. Brainiac was beaten, but even more miraculously, the Enchantress was gone. After years of that witch feeding on me, torturing me, corrupting me, I'm free. No more aliases. No evil alter egos. 
I can just be June Moon. I got my old job back at the design studio. I even have a date this Friday. Piece by piece, I'm rebuilding my old life. Once I've... <coughs> Did you really think you could dispose of me so easily? Brainiac's collection was a revelation. You and I have been thinking far too small. Why corrupt one Earth when we can bewitch all 52? <laughs> 